Data has a look at them, likes them, and hits the lever. We are underway in the UAE Derby, sponsored by Atlantis, the Royal. And it is it is Julio Holohara in the early stages with his two of his three runners coming up to contest as they make their way off the front. It is Auto Barn in the blue cap from Oasis Boy spotting the white distinguishing cap. Then came next in running their Guns and Glory, who's a little wide into the first turn, along with Forever Young, who's having to do a fair bit of work there in the early stages, and Ryuze Sake decides to slip back. Mendelssohn Bay finds himself into the box seat, now just in behind the leading division. Behind Forever Young sees George Tesoro with Pandergate. Working alongside there as well was Navy Seal. Then came Rock Walk from Henry Adams, and Ballon d'Or is the last one. So out past the 1,200 metres they go, and the pace is OK, 8.55. 19.24 those early sections there for that first uh, early part and up in front now taking over Oasis Boy heads over to the fence here from Autobahn in second then came Mendelssohn Bay sliding up guns and glory forever young the international market favourite has been no better than three deep and punching the breeze the entire way so far. Then came Pandergate, Navy Seal, opting to get on the right horses back here. Then came Ballon d'Or from Rockwalk and dropping away Henry Adams, who's getting further away from the field. Inside the 700 they go and up in front, up on the running rail, Oasis Boy leads a narrow margin. Our Autobahn goes up to apply a bit of pressure, Forever Young still travelling despite being deep as they make their way into the home stretch here in the UAE Derby. Then came Mendelssohn Bay, deeper out Navy Seal, not too far away, Panda Gate still with four to pick up. As they get into the running here, Autobahn takes over, Forever Young on the one rein there, but balances up now, comes up to the outside of Autobahn, who has to be brave. It's Forever Young, though, for Japan, who comes up to the outside of Autobahn, goes past by a length, Forever Young drawing away here in the late stages, and it's another Japan domination in the UAE Derby. Autobahn, very brave in second. Third across Panda Gate from Mendelssohn Bay, then came Navy Seal, Rock Walk, Guns and Glory, crossing over the line there with Ballon d'Or, and a long last dropping away Oasis Boyd. Across... Well, give him his space, he deserves it. He's conquering the Gulf, he's done Saudi, and he's now done Dubai. Ryusi Sakai, the rider of the brilliant Forever Young, that's exactly what he is. Just take another turn, if you will. This is a very exciting racehorse. Yeah, he's an amazing horse. So I want to say thank you to Ona and my boss, Mr. Hagi and groom and all stuff. <laughs> and his condition was better than last race. And he's great performance. You had to be wide throughout. Were you ever worried that he was going to have over race? We had to be worried about but he doesn't like kick back, so I trust him. I know what this night means to you. I spoke to you when you won the Godolphin Mile. How special does World Cup night prove to you every year? Yeah, it is very, very special, special for me. And could this horse be the Kentucky Derby horse? Could he be a World Cup horse next year? Yeah, he's still improving. Uh, I'm looking for next Kentucky Derby. Well done indeed. It's further success on Dubai World Cup now for Yoshita Yahagi, the winning trainer of Forever Young. This is turning into a very special horse. Thank you very much for bringing him. I really appreciate Dubai Racing Club look after us very well. Thank you very much. Was that the kind of performance you were expecting today? Yes, I expected this performance because, uh, you know, much longer, a uh, little bit longer distance uh, compared to Saudi Cup. Also, condition is also getting better than Saudi Derby too, so. You've brought some very good horses here. I wonder where does he rank and will it be America next? Uh, he's still three years old, so I couldn't make decision for like a ranking. I should not do this. So, but we will go to America, yes. And maybe this time next year, are we going to be talking about a Dubai World Cup horse? I hope so. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.